Okay, so on to Afghanistan. Not a very great time in Afghanistan right now. The president, Hamid Karzai, has threatened to boycott peace talks with the Taliban. And where is this coming from? So last week, the USA revealed plans to travel to uh, Qatar to talk to the Taliban who have their headquarters there in Doha. And the Afghani government was not happy with this. They believe America is taking a two-pronged approach. They believe that America is delivering a message that is inconsistent with its action. And to a certain extent, I do agree with them because if there's a peace negotiation between the Taliban and the Afghan government, why would you be talking to the Taliban on their own? It does seem a bit underhanded. And you know, the frustration from this situation has spilled onto the, the whole um, plans to uh, evacuate American troops from Afghanistan because of now, the president, Hamid Karzai, has also decided to suspend the bilateral security agreement talks it was meant to hold with the USA. Basically, these talks were aimed at providing a strategic framework that would hash out the details of the evacuation of American troops from Afghanistan. It was going to cover the details such as how many troops will remain after the end of 2014, where will they be based, um, what kind of training will they provide to the military, and now that's been put on hold. Um, as well as a result of America's traveling to Qatar to talk to the Taliban. I mean, on the whole, it's not so great. It's taken so long for the, Tal uh, for the Taliban and for the Afghan government to come to the negotiating table and to stumble right now. It's just not great. It's very irritating. And it's been so many years, so many years of frustration of trying to get the troops outside of Afghanistan, trying to get the Afghan military ready to be able to deal with the situation on their own. And now, yet again, another stumbling block comes upon, uh, comes upon this process as the Hamid Karzai has suspended talks on hashing out the details that would facilitate this. I just hope that all the three parties can come together and rectify the situation because now is not the time to fall. You do not fall at the last hurdle. So yeah, let's just stay tuned and see how the situation plays out. Thank you for listening.